You may have noticed as we were working with these presets that we didn't actually assign any time to them. Yet they all ran in 5 seconds. Unless you've specifically applied a time to a preset, it's going to use the go time, which by default is 5. To add a specific time, we need to go back in and tell the preset exactly what we want it to do. There's two options for this. You can either add the time to the A playback or to the B. This is a setting we set when we first started our show. If you take a look on your main playback, you'll notice there's a little black arrow. That arrow is showing you which preset you'll be adding time to. We can very quickly change it by pushing and holding time and hitting either B or A to switch back and forth. If you're working on timing while your show is running, it's a good idea to be working with B because it's going to change the next preset you're running. If you're doing it in something like a tech rehearsal, you probably want to work with A because you're going to change what you just saw. To change a time, we simply type in the number and then either set the in or the out time by hitting either in or out. So if I want to apply a four second out fade to this next preset, I can say four and hit the out button. And it'll change my out to four. Notice it also updates my graphical representation of time so I can see exactly what's going on. Now, when I run this preset, everything that's going out will go out in four seconds. If we want to modify the default go time, push and hold setup and tap go. We can navigate up to our default go time, type in a number, and hit modify. Now, all of my presets that don't have special time will run in the go time. To confirm this, navigate down to close and hit modify. If I want to remove the time from a preset, I type zero and then out. Notice it returns right back to the go time. Setting a zero time does not make it a snap. If I want to make it a snap time, I have two options. I can either set my go time to be zero, but remember that will make anything that you haven't put a time in for a preset snap, or I can just use a very small number, like 0.01 for my out. That will look exactly like a snap out. 